Hello dear friends and welcome again to Adventure Story Channel videos. Today my dear friends we will make the assembly procedure of cylinder head of Yanmar 6 cylinder engine 22 cylinder bore and let's quickly start our assembly procedure. First of all I thank you that you have joined here to our big community and also you have subscribed to the channel. Thank you for your likes and for your share so these videos will as possible will reach more people and they will get involved here with us so today we will make our assembly and we will take and talk about with all the parts and explain all the details that it's really really necessary to know first of all I will open my tab here and I will set the lifting tool on the cylinder head but before we do that we need to check also the bushes here inside which uh, keep our uh, exhaust valves and the inlet valves in the position aligned and it's really really necessary this bush to be checked and measured for wear first of all i'd like to tell you that this overhauling it's not cost really a lot to the owner and it's about the cost it's uh, around two thousand dollars so it's not so necessary to make economy in such parts which is replaceable and also are consumable um, as i have seen through the experience of uh, overhauling such items it's really really the best thing that you have to do it's replace all the worn parts and most important if you make a overhauling after 16,000 hours it's better to replace all the parts and install new one for the reason that you will have a much safe engine working uh, and also you will prolong as much as possible all the components life and the engine itself it will be in good shape and you will have also a good performance uh, through the time and you can see also on your diagrams that you will be performed but before we place our cylinder head on the top okay there is cylinder a uh, ceiling ring there and probably there will be also a flame ring which also is measurable and in case that have a lot of wear it must be replaced so let's remove our chain block and our lifting tool also can be removed now all these tools must be properly stored in a proper place so it will not be damaged through the time and you can reuse them as much as possible a long and prolong uh, overhaulings so let's cover our threads because it's really really sensitive for damaging and dirty let's tight our uh, bolts here nuts for the injector and really really I don't know uh, why we remove this injector here For the moment why we remove without the removing the injector that I'm meaning because also the injectors must be inspected and properly adjusted so we have bolted also this stud which keeps uh, the rocker arm okay let's see what else we can place here on the top and let's see here okay here it's still okay here the push roots will go inside so our camshaft and our cam are staring press also the push roots and the push roots will uh, touch the rocker arms and then 
this power will be transferred to our yox. This is our yox here. We'll be set it in the position and also we can uh, adjust them later on so they will touch uh, exactly from one side and another side simultaneously. This is really really important because as the rocker arm will press the yoke, both of the valves of the exhaust valves and the inlet valves must be pressed uh, simultaneously when they will be activated. And I used to use I used to uh, handle a dial gauge which uh, from there I can see and by hands I can feel uh, the proper adjustment of the valves itself and this thing it's really really neat sometime and also to be really really careful when adjusting and tightening for all this uh, tightening procedure you need to refer to manual to see exactly the tightening pressures let's set the o-ring and this o-ring probably goes here down uh, on the fuel piping high pressure piping all the o-rings for sure must be replaced uh, it's really really good to replace them okay let's see where it goes about so let's see maybe it goes here in the water side Let's uh, turn the camera and select our O-ring again. So what else uh, remain here to tie it? One moment I will check it. And as I have told before, 70% of all the overhauling is the cleaning procedure itself. It's really, really funny that, but uh, one person as much as possible will start uh, quickly the procedure of cleaning. Uh, the overhauling will take place as much possible as uh, quick. So why this O-ring? Uh, not going somewhere here and also probably there will be some high pressure pipe for going inside and let's see the uh, where that o-ring uh, goes for the moment as I can see uh, the only place that this o-ring can go is here but it do not like to move like we have uh, made some other step so i need to check so something we didn't tie so that's why we cannot proceed uh, to another step so i will come closer here to check to recheck any kind of uh, ah okay we need to close the cover and that's why uh, our cover remain there and the program stuck and will not uh, continue so I will close the cover later on uh, we will adjust our clearances and the adjusting of the clearance is something really really important for the engine itself because uh, the engine can operate uh, on the timing and the proper timing that is set it from the fuel pump the injection and then from the camshaft so let's place here the o-ring and let's place also the high pressure pipe which also needed to be handled with care because as we know it's really really uh, easy to damage this material and after that if we have 
a bad sealing surfaces, we will have some leakages. And before we set our cylinder head, my dear friends, really, really important to tell that a very, very good tip that you will need to check all the bolts, all the threads here before you set it your cylinder head on the top. Because if you will not do such a check, probably you will have some thread damage. And after that, you have done all that job, you will need to put back again and remove uh, your cylinder head which is really really annoying and you will lose a lot of time and also the people will get uh, more uh, they will be more uh, tired so try as much as possible uh, to make the checks from before and do not hurry because many many things can happen and as you can uh, see also that I have uploaded a video what happened if a bolt uh, will be forgotten to set uh, the damage can be really really big and hopefully to have some spares to uh, fix after that because if you do not have any spares so your, your generator will be uh, remain open and you will not have any generator in case uh, that it will be needed it's really really a bad situation so that's why it's better to not uh, hurry up to make uh, as much as possible uh, with normal uh, pace and that is really really uh, matters so the pace for all kind of jobs uh, it's uh, really really must be appropriate not very slow not very uh, very uh, high speed because when somebody working in really really high speed um, there will be things forgotten and also these things uh, when you involve on some tightening of the pipes really really need to have uh, some attention <laughs> i also uh, would like to share some story about uh, later on okay let's place these bolts here and as you can see there is some holes on these bolts so in, in the event that some air is trapped here on this piping and probably this is some lubricating piping uh, of components inside uh, the cylinder head you can make any uh, air vent from these bolts by unscrewing them a little bit um, so what i would like to share with you that it's really really annoying when you're working on the engine itself and when you have a pace and somebody let's say call to the engine room and asking you some items which is not referred to the job itself and also uh, it's not related on that uh, moment and it's really really bad that thing when you are concentrated somewhere uh, somebody coming uh, and asking you something about that okay because you are not only concentrate to make one uh, job properly and safely and somebody's calling to the engine room it's really really bad situation and that's why I always try to avoid when I am uh, there let's say if you are listening some alarm and the engineer going down it's better to wait until he reset and after uh, directly to call then he reset the alarm and running there up and down <laughs> from the bottom of the engine room let's say or somewhere else so this is some uh, laws that is uh, not written in the books but must be follows from the crew itself and they must also understand that and also another thing that let's place our gasket here that i have seen on the vessels is that a uh, deck department always use the elevators but uh, for one floor 
and these things uh, really really damage the elevators itself and when you see a uh, deck department mostly uh, do that uh, because they are moving from one level only one level and they're going down and use elevator this is really really a bad thing for the elevator first of all because uh, it damages uh, the life of the elevator itself and uh, really when I was on board I didn't use even the elevator going from the gym to my cabin I always use the stairs because as much as possible I understand that uh, these items uh, need to have a proper uh, handling so in the most cases the people are not understanding because they are not involved in such jobs they are not even know how the elevator is working and that's why they don't care about that even if you explain them after a while you see they repeat again the same uh, thing but okay for the deck department uh, for the engine department let's say uh, they must also to be really really careful about that and not only inside the engine room and the elevator itself uh, it also refers to all the machinery that uh, will be included in the space of the ship so we have finished our successful assembly and uh, this is a second part of uh, the assembly of cylinder head don't forget to subscribe to the channel don't forget to share the video so it will be reach more and more people in the future and will get involved here in the channel thank you my dear friends and hopefully you will get all these simulators so you'll be able to make some practice in the future thank you and see you again here in these videos from adventure story channel see you again and bye bye